It's not just a neighborhood. India is making diplomatic moves in faraway Latin America, too. There are new synergies emerging. A defense deal is making headlines. Argentina wants to buy choppers from India. They have signed a letter of intent. This letter is with India's Hindustan Aeronauticals Limited, or HAL. It is a state-owned manufacturer. And what kind of choppers does Argentina want from HAL? light and medium utility choppers. They'll be used by the Argentinian armed forces, but that's not the only thing that they're interested in. If reports are to be believed, Argentina wants two more Indian weapons, the Tejas fighter jet and the Brahmos missile. Recently, the defense minister was in India. His name is George Enrique Tayana. He visited HAL's facilities in India. Look at this picture. It shows the minister sitting inside the cockpit of the Tejas aircraft. He also went to Brahmos Airspace, which is a company that makes the Brahmos missile. Again, this is a state-owned entity, but it's a joint venture between Russia and India. Will Argentina buy the Tejas and the Brahmos? Too early to say, but going by some claims, the two sides have held discussions. And this follows the larger trajectory of India's defense industry. There is an obvious and sustained focus on exports. Recently, deals have been signed with the Philippines and with Indonesia. There, too, the deal was for the Brahmos missile. But with Argentina, India's goals are more strategic. New Delhi wants a foothold in Latin America, and defense deals are a good way to achieve that. But why Latin America? What interests does India have in the continent? In the month of February, India's external affairs minister gave some insights. S. J. Shankar was delivering a speech at the Latin, India Latin America conference. And he said, and I'm quoting, India's ambition to become a global power required a footprint in Latin America. He's right. In May this year, Jay Shankar made a rare visit to the region. He visited four countries Guyana, Panama, Colombia, and the Dominican Republic. This was the first time an Indian foreign minister visited these countries. There were no major outcomes, but this visit was the beginning of a dialogue, an attempt to win over some friends in the region. You see, India is positioning itself as a leader of the global south. It has raised the issues of the region. It has brought regional players to global forums like the G7 and the G20, for which India holds the presidency this year. And if India truly wants to champion the cause of the global south, it cannot leave out Latin America. The region's combined GDP is over $4 trillion. More than 660 million people live here. They represent about 8% of the world's population. So India cannot ignore this block, especially on global platforms like the United Nations. Because this is where votes from Latin American states continue to determine outcomes. India is pursuing a permanent seat at the United Nations Security Council. This is going to require reform, and such reforms when they're put to vote, support from Latin American countries could come in handy. So building influence is necessary, and defense engagements are a tried and tested way to do that. In fact, India has done defense deals in the region in the past as well. It sold the Chetak helicopter to Suriname, military vehicles and trucks to Honduras, also to Argentina, Uruguay, and Belize. There is a booming trade relationship as well. Last year, India's trade with Latin America was worth $50 billion. Evidently, New Delhi is investing in this relationship, but there are challenges. There is the tyranny of distance, for one. This region remains largely inaccessible to India. There are virtually no direct flights, and that's a huge barrier when it comes to building trade ties. Also, China, as always, is a factor. Beijing got there first, and its influence in the region is strong and growing. I'll give you an example. Bilateral trade between China and Latin America is worth $450 billion. This was in 2021, 450 billion, nine times that of India. So New Delhi must step up, and defense deals with Argentina are a significant step in that direction.